The free space. Want that Koopa? No. <laughs> And now, for our feature presentation. Press your luck. We're doing game two of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the Super Nintendo. And what, so far, in my run, I've won $13,600. And yep, as that clip said, All the losers may try to one next pizza pie like the Wami. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how we do the Jeopardy round. I am so glad that smile on your face. Absolutely. The categories are song lyrics. Starts with C, the letter C in quotation marks. Animals. Excuse my song talking. That's I fine. Just recovered from having South America. Fever. Ballet. Oh, it's fine, Lee. No, no problem. History. Wow. Let's try to add on to my thirteen thousand six hundred. And before I make my first, and before I make my first selection. Yeah. And before I make my first selection, as many of you know out there, in my run for the original Jeopardy for the SNES. It's a million dollar run. Let's see if I can do the same with the deluxe. Song lyrics 100. The answer is. It's going to take me a while before I make it to a million. We'll find out. There is heaven right here on earth with those beautiful queens. Way down yonder there. Ooh. Never heard this song lyric, but let's see if Liz knows it. She doesn't know. Now, I know it's going to be a while before I make it to a million dollars in the deluxe edition for the Super Nintendo, but hey, it's worth a shot. Way down yonder in New Orleans. In New Orleans. Let's try again. Song lyrics for 200, please. <laughs> well, this game was made 16 years before The Princess and the Frog was released. Oh, yeah. The answer is... And the answer there. That, that movie was that successful. It's frozen. She's urged to wait until she's urged to wait till the sun shines. Who? Fiona? I don't know. Well, the clue just says she's wait to she's urged to wait till the sun shines, and it's Nelly. Liz got it right. Yep. So she's back on the so she's got a little money now. Where are we going now, Liz? We're going to song lyrics for three hundred. The answer is. Answer there. Line that follows a beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in one of these. Well, we'll be hearing this song in about four months. What is a winter wonderland? I know it's about Christmas yet, but this clue just came up at this time. Now I've got a little bit of some money. I'll have song lyrics for 400, please. The answer is... Answer there. Just an old sweet... Just an old sweet song keeps this state on my mind. What is Georgia? The song Georgia on my mind. Where are your manners? They're all over Georgia. Good answer. Hey, I thought you were trying to let the good shine out. <laughs> he is. Oh. He is, Lee. He was just making a joke. That's all. I'll take it back. Need I remind you that I'm currently suffering a case of petunia fever? <laughs> well, Nick was just making a joke, Lee. That's all. Oh, yeah. Song lyrics for 500, please. By the way, if I were to burp, you know where my manners would be right now? All over the Metroplex in Dallas, Texas. Kalamazoo. Close. They're all over the Metroplex in Dallas, Texas. Song lyrics for 500. He was created there. It's who Hank Williams asked, how's about saving all your time for me? Who is a hey, good looking... I know that song was later redone by Jimmy Buffett. 
Is it hey good looking? I got it right. I'll have starts with C for a hundred, please. The answer is. Answer there. This adjective can receive lantern, red, and restaurant syndrome. What is Chinese? Starts with C for 200. The answer is. Pepperidge Farm named different varieties of these for Milan, Brussels, and Orleans. What are cookies? Having, having had a few Pepperidge Farm cookies back in the day. Starts with C for 300, please. The answer is. Answer there. Secluded, especially in a monastery or a convent. Ooh. Can't remember this one. Let's see if Rob knows this one any better than I do. Cloistered. Cloistered. That's the right answer. So he's got a little bit of some money now. 300 bucks to be exact. Where to now, Rob? History, 100. The answer is... Answer there. In the late 1400s, Torquemada was confessor to this Spanish queen before he led the Inquisition. Who is Isabella? Queen Isabella, yeah. History for 200. The answer is... This series of holy wars against the Muslims led to establishment of trade with the Middle East. What were the Crusades? That's right. History for 300. The answer is... When this Mongol emperor was a little boy, his father, Yasuge, was poisoned by Tartars. Who was uh, Genghis Khan? Yep, he's the one. History for 400. The answer is... Not doing too badly. Hitler's World War II effort to regain Antwerp. It's also fought by those who gain too many pounds. What is uh, Weight Watchers? Yeah, exactly. What is the Weight Watchers? If you were a real Disney villain, I'm sure you'll be the opposite of how the world fell. Exactly, but I got the clue wrong, unfortunately. Let's see if Rob knows this any better than I do. What is the Battle of the Bulge? Battle of the Bulge. Yep. He now trails me by only $1,000, but he's in charge of the next selection. Where are we going? Ballet for 100. The answer is... And the answer in that category, in that clue. Frederick Ashton played one of the ugly stepsisters in this ballet he choreographed. What is Cinderella? There we go. Ballet for 200. Daily double. And I have a big lead right now. $1,800. How much of that do I want to put at risk? I think I'm going to do half of it. 900 Alright, here's the clue. Suzanne Jaffe performed part of this expiring bird ballet at George Bush's inaugural gala. What is... Firing bird. Not real sure about this one, so I'm just gonna have to take a guess. It's probably right, it's probably wrong. What is Swan Lake? It is what? What? It's right? I didn't think it was right! I've never had that question before, that clue before, Lee, as, as far as back as I can remember, but luckily... Yeah, I thought that car was supposed to hold very little. That was the only ballet with a bird I could think of was Swan Lake. I couldn't think of any others, but luckily I picked the right one. Yeah. Let's have ballet for 300. The answer is... I surprised myself there. The Moors Pavain is a ballet of love, death, and betrayal based on this play. What is Romeo and Juliet? It's
It's not Romeo and Juliet. Doesn't matter though. I still have a big lead. Liz. Othello. It was a Shakespeare play, but I picked the wrong one. It was Othello. Liz, back to you. History for 500. The answer is... The Act of Union divided England and Wales in 1563 during his reign. Liz. Henry VIII. And that was my hunch, but I didn't think about it in time. But that's okay. Where to now, Liz? Where are we going? Starts with C for 400. The answer is... And the answer is... Referring to a person, it means lenient or merciful. Referring to weather, it means mild. Rob. Clement. Uh-huh. Starts with C for 500. The answer is... Fruit that's cooked in syrup or a long-stemmed dish for candy or nuts. See if Liz knows this one. She doesn't know. You lose. <laughs> Rob. And he doesn't know either. I don't know, so I'm not gonna ring in. A compote. Compote. Okay. Next clue. Ballet for 400. The answer is. In the ballet Sylvia, this goddess of the hunt mortally wounds the villain with an arrow. Liz. She does it now again. She loses all her money. Do you know what it means when you lose your last Robbie? <laughs> body like one of these creatures. What is a fish? A pop of swamp. Fish. Got it. Animals for a hundred. The answer is. The mysterious Ogopogo is Canada's equivalent to this legendary Scottish creature. What is the Loch Ness Monster? Animals for two? The answer is... In 1988, the Humane Society of the U.S. introduced You Should Be Ashamed to Wear This. What is fur? Yep. I'll take animals for 300, please. The answer is... Types of this fish include dog, humpback, and chinook. What is salmon? Animals for 400. The answer is... Endangered Asian mammal chosen as a symbol of the World Wildlife Fund over 25 years ago. What is the panda? Animals for 500. The answer is... Like some cats, great horned owls have this color eyes. What is blue? No, not blue. Blue. 
Yellow. Uh huh. All right, South America, one hundred. The answer is. I see mountain streams in Peru are the source of the Amazon, which flows into this ocean. What is the Atlantic? Two hundred. The answer is. When Juan Perón returned to the presidency of this country in 1973, his wife was elected vice president. What is Argentina? Three hundred. The answer is. If you're watching a music video on Montevideo, you're in this country's capital. What is Uruguay? <laughs> Four hundred. The answer is country whose capital lies closest to the line of zero degrees latitude. What is uh Ecuador? The capital being Quito, of course. So I'm gonna say what is uh Ecuador? It is Ecuador. Now the last clue. The answer is. The, Braz the, Braz the Braganzas were a royal family that ruled in Portugal and this South American country. What is Brazil? And if that's right, I'll finish with $4,900. Rob has 1000 Liz has 500 10 for 10, Of course. Only it was real. And then you're gonna Oh, yeah. Double Jeopardy round. Here are the categories. And our categories are going to be Unreal Estate, Addresses, Psychology, Abbreviations, Breakfast, Yummy, and finally, Vice Presidents. Okay. Where are we starting? Vice Presidents for 200. The answer is. The answer is. Serving for eight years, he was our very first Vice President. It was John Adams. Mm hmm. Now we're to. Abbreviations for 200. The answer is. Answer there. Trinitrotoluene is better known by this abbreviation. What is TNT? We know drama. I'll go with abbreviations for four. The answer is. The correct spelling of the short official name of the U.S. Junior Chamber of Commerce. What is crack cola? No, it's Rob doesn't know. Rob doesn't know. Where are your manners? Liz doesn't know either. My, my secret ingredient manners are down all your toys in your sewers. Oh, why us? Good answer. JC's. JC's. Okay. Tough one. Let's go to the $600 clue abbreviations. The CEO is of a company is its chief executive officer. The CFO is this. What is the chief financial officer? Abbreviations for 800, please. The answer is. 
In lowercase, a matric unit of weight. In uppercase, it's for Knight of the Order of the Garter. Liz. Oh, wait. Oh, oh crap. I know it. KG. Just now dawned on me. But oh well. It's okay. I have a big lead right now. Where are we going now? Abbreviations for a thousand. The answer is... The more familiar name for common business-oriented language used to com program computers. Oh, Rob brings in. COBOL. COBOL. Good for a thousand. Psychology for 200. The answer is... Ew. He was in Analysis in Annie Hall and has been in real life for more than 30 years. Who was uh, Woody Allen? And where are your manners, uh, Nick? This time my secret ingredient manners. I'm sorry to say this, but they're all over Tiger's litter box. And now I gotta go clean it after the game. Psychology 400. The answer is... To become a psychiatrist, you must hold this degree. What is a PhD? Or what is Doctor of Philosophy? That's right. Psychology for 600. The answer is... Baruch Frederick are the first and middle names of this author of Walden II. Who is, uh, Jay York? That is incorrect. Obviously. Of course it's incorrect. <laughs> I was just being silly. It was B.F. Skinner. Psychology for 800. The answer is... This Swiss psychologist differentiated extroverts and introverts. Who is Tenacious Lee? Of course it's wrong. <laughs> Carl Jung. <laughs> of course that's incorrect. Of course what I said was incorrect. <laughs> Alright. Oh. It's called you a thousand. The answer is. Alright. Next clue. Freud first wrote of this complex in The Interpretation of Dreams, published in 1899. Liz. The Oedipus Complex. Oh, yeah. The Oedipus Complex, really? Yep. I didn't think about it in time, so therefore she got it. Unreal Estate 200. Where a son wants to, yeah, for Where a son wants to kill their father so that they can marry their mother. According to some legends, King Arthur held court in Caerleon, as well as at this place. What is Camelot? Unreal Estate for 400. Or yeah, 600, it. oops. The realm of this Greek god of the underworld is sometimes used as a synonym for hell. What is uh, Hades? Now let me have the $400 clue. I didn't mean to pick the 600 one. The yeah, answer is. That's better. The house this Tusum found wasn't gingerbread, but made of bread with and roofed with cake. Who are, uh... Uh, Hansel and Gretel? Unreal Estate for 800, please. The answer is... Answer there. Middle Earth was the setting of his, The Lord of the Rings... Who is J.R.R. Tolkien? Unreal Estate for a thousand. The answer is... B.F. Skinner's Utopian Community, loosely based on a Henry David Thoreau work. I'm sorry? I thought I heard Frank Yoda invading a studio. Well, then two. Oh, but you do a good 
did um, you know that impression, Gallo? Addresses for 200. Yeah, I've heard this animated family lived at 201 Cobblestone Way in Bedrock. Who were the Flintstones? Addresses for 400. The answer is. At night, you can spot this stadium at 1060 West Addison Street in Chicago. It's now lighted. What is Wrigley Field? Addresses for 600? The answer is... Whether traveling by land or sea, don't miss this spot at 193 Salem Street in Boston. What is the Old North Church? Addresses for 800. Daily Double. And I've been on cruise control majority of this game. I have $9,500. How much do I want to risk? I'm going to bet it all. Ooh, this will put me at $19,000. Here's the clue. President Hoover was among those dedicating this New York City building at 355th Avenue on May 1st, 1931. What is the Empire State Building? For $19,000. That is correct! Address is for $1,000. In 1948, the Trumans moved temporarily from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue to this mansion at 1651. What is Blair House? $20,000 now. I'll have vice presidents for $400. The answer is... Camera's low on battery. Tippica News Vice President. He was the first to succeed to the presidency after the death of the incumbent. Who is John Tyler? $20,400 now, and I better find a stopping point real fast, so that way I can switch out the batteries, and then we will get this game finished up, look at the last eight clues, and finish up this game. Hold on. Hold on. What do you want me to hold on to? I knew you were going to do that. You know, that brings back a lot of memories for me. So anytime I need to take a commercial break and when we go back on the air, we should play that. Right. Vice Presidents for 600. The other Daily Double. Daily Double. And I have a big lead right now, 20,400. How much of that do I want to put at risk? I'd like to do just 400. Here's the clue. Until 1933, Vice VPS normally took their dates in took their oaths in this chamber. Now they usually join the president. What is the I'm gonna take a guess on this one. What is the Supreme Court? No. It was the Senate. It was the Senate, yep, but I still have twenty thousand dollars, so that's okay. Vice President's 800. Answer, Answer there. During the 1970s, we had a total of this many Vice Presidents. Let's see if Liz knows this one any better than I do. Four. We had four Vice Presidents in the 1970s. I can't name them off the top of my head at this point because I'm not sure. Okay. Vice Presidents for a thousand. The answer is... Answer there. The life of this man, our first vice president from New York, ended in a Staten Island hotel. Rob. And Rob doesn't know. Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr. And we just have one category left, which is breakfast. 
Two hundred. The answer is. It's through there. Blitzes are thin rolled ones, often filled with cheese. What are pancakes? Pancakes. Waffles. Sausage. Bacon. Four hundred, please. The appliance used to cook these makes a grid pattern on the batter as it bakes. What are waffles? Scrambled eggs. Hash browns. Six hundred. The answer is. This product is made from milk cultured by bacteria. George Bush eats it for breakfast. What is yogurt? Eight hundred. The answer is. Many of the casings for these are from are made from sheep intestines. What are uh, sausages? Now the last clue. The answer is. The basic ingredients in Scrapple are pork scraps and this kind of mush. What is, uh, apple mu what is applesauce? Or what is... It's not applesauce. That's okay. So I'm going to finish Double Jeopardy with $21,000, which is okay with me. Well, wait a minute. What is my final Jeopardy? Well, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's cornmeal. That's what I'm saying. That's the amount I'm taking with me into Final Jeopardy. Because Double Jeopardy's over, and now we're going to Final. And I have $21,000. Will I add more? Will I lose some? Will I stay where I'm at? That's it all depends on the Final Jeopardy category, which is reference books. How much of my 21,000 am I going to put at risk? I'd like to go for 4,400. Will it go up or down? Let's find out. This word, the word for this type of book comes from the Greek for circle of learning. What is an encyclopedia? I have a feeling it's going to go up, so I'll just go ahead and add my 20, I'll add the 25,400 to my total. Encyclopedia, I got it right. Beautiful. Let's start things off with Rob. Did he get encyclopedia? Yes, he did. He goes up to 5,800. Did Liz come up with encyclopedia? She did. She goes up to 8,000. I also said encyclopedia. Bringing me to 25,400, which results in a two game winnings total of $39,000. I get to come back to do a third game soon, and we're gonna wrap it up right here. We'll see you for my next video coming soon, folks. And until then, folks, please do the audience a favor, and not just to keep on, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars, but also try to. Catch you later.